Hey guys, welcome to the winter vehicle setup episode. Today we're going to be talking about two new products that we just dropped. The rapid access Molly panel, which you can mount up on your headrest, and then the uh, Responder IFAC. And we're going to get it all set up in the truck, show you how to install it, and then we're going to show you some of the other tools and things, supplies that we keep in here to keep the vehicle ready for winter adventures with the family. So let's go jump in the truck and take a look. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the ramp on the passenger side headrest. That way, in an emergency, you can just reach over, grab whatever you need right off there um, and have everything easy access. So that's where I like to put it. You could put another one. You could put another one on the driver's side maybe with survival supplies. Uh, glow sticks, things like that, stuff that you might not need super quick access to because that's going to be a little bit harder to access if you're in an accident. So this mounts up real easy. It's just, you can mount anything that has molly attachments like this or anything that has hook and loop, you can just stick it right on there. So you have a lot of options on how you can mount your gear. Today I'm just going to mount this up using molly real quick. So we got the responder on there. And then I wanna add one of our direct action tourniquet holders onto the top here. That way I can get another tourniquet added up there and a, a light stick, so. like to add one of these light sticks. Uh, they're really useful to have if you have an accident on the road and you just need to mark your vehicle off to the side of the road. That way it gives people a heads up that someone's there. I'm also gonna add my, a pair of Leatherman Raptor shears on here. Uh, really useful for cutting seat belts and it's also got a glass breaker on it, so really useful in an accident. All right, so that's how we're gonna set up the panel. Uh, we've got a light stick, tourniquet, trauma shears, and the responder IFAC, which has a full loadout inside. Now we're gonna show you guys how to mount it up on the headrest. All right, so this is really easy to do. Um, just show you one way to do it do it a couple different ways but this is probably the easiest. So the ramp comes with two straps like this. Um, one side is smooth, just the webbing, and that's going to go on the front side, that way it's comfortable to put your head on. The other side has uh, the loop velcro on it, which you're going to stick the, the actual panel to. So you can just lift your headrest up, loosen up the strap if it's a big headrest like this one. Slide the strap on. And then just cinch it up down here. You can rotate them so that way the clips go underneath the headrest when you set it back down. That way, you know, you don't have to see any of the webbing or clips. All right, so it's as easy as that. 
and you can just take your panel, like we have our setup here. It's got hook Velcro along the back. I like to set it up high, that way it's easy to reach. Just set it on there like that, and boom, now you have a full trauma setup within rapid access reach from the driver's seat or from a rear passenger. All right, so you can see uh, on the front side, it's just smooth. It's not gonna bother anybody's head when they sit there. And you can just cinch it down and you have, you know, you don't have anything hanging out and it's nice and smooth. Uh, and you have a big grab handle right here. So I'll go around and show you guys how easy that is to get to. So in an accident, if you need it, uh, it's just right here and you can just grab it and now you have all your gear. Take it with you to go help somebody, um, give self aid to yourself. It's right here. In an accident a lot of times, um, you know, things get thrown around in the vehicle. If you just have your med kit sitting out somewhere, it can get shoved around. So uh, this way you know where everything's at. That's why I like to keep it right here. It's accessible. Everybody in the vehicle knows where to find it. Um, and yeah, also easy to mount back up. So if you want to grab a tourniquet, you just, you know, self-application is really easy. Um, everything's right at your fingertips. So this is the rapid access Molly panel. Uh, we have it set up today with a responder IFAC and a direct action tourniquet holder. Medical is one of the most important things to have in a vehicle. Uh, but let's go talk about some of the other tools and supplies that we keep in here uh, for taking the family out on winter adventures. All right, so we're in the back of the truck. Luckily, having a truck, I have a lot of room to keep supplies, so I have a pretty extensive loadout back here, and it's also my search and rescue vehicle, so that helps. I have, that's why I have a lot of stuff, but um, water is really important to have. I'm trying to figure out a way to keep it from freezing in the winter, um, but it is nice to have for washing hands when we're out on missions and stuff, um, and obviously it's drinkable too. I always keep a shovel, um, not just for your poop. It's uh, really good if you get stuck. You can use it to dig yourself out, get some traction. So always have a shovel in your vehicle. And then I've got a lot of food because I get really hungry and uh, for missions and stuff. So at least like a few energy bars, things like that. Um, little peanut butter packs, uh, really calorie dense. Just good stuff to have if you end up in a, a snow ditch or something or waiting out a blizzard on the side of the road. Uh, keeps everyone in the vehicle happy, you know, especially when you have little kids. Then I have this old backpack that I keep in here and uh, It's just an old, you know, Molly type backpack that way if somebody takes it. It's honestly doesn't have much value to me, but um, I keep in here Just an old headlamp some emergency blankets um, Another survival kit with all kinds of stuff that I've shown you guys before. Same loadout, water stuff, cordage, fire starting stuff. Um, some maps, those are handy to have when you run out of battery. Um, got an old, big old knife in here. And obviously in winter the most important stuff is staying warm. So. Um, I have one of these blizzard emergency blankets, which is uh, a lot more, it's actually insulated inside. It's a lot more effective than just the regular emergency blanket that you see. An axe for cutting down wood and starting fires. More cordage. Um, and here, it's come in handy. I got some tie downs. So in winter, obviously, if you have to spend the night in the truck, being able to layer up with some extra warm clothes um, having, you know, a big blanket to cover everyone with is going to make the night go a lot better when you're sleeping in a really cold truck, which is going to turn into an ice box at night. So, um, having extra clothes is really important. And then, you know, I think every vehicle should have just a basic bag with some tools in it for, you know, doing basic stuff on your vehicle. Um, most importantly, jumper cables. That's really common in the winter for your battery to run low uh, because of the cold weather. That's definitely something that I've had to use before. So then I've just had, you know, gloves, sockets, 
um, basic wrenches, stuff like that. Um, every guy should have in their vehicle. So that's my winter setup, guys. Um, if you have any suggestions on what I could add, um, do it in the comments below. If you like the content that we're putting out, please hit that subscribe button. And uh, look forward to showing you guys what we got going on next week. We're about to drop a new product that I think you guys are going to really like. So stay tuned.